obedience is performance as far as I'm concerned. Obedient is compliant and responsive, not the, not in the sense of the word competition. So when you have instinct tests, you have instinct um, performances, that's your agility and your tracking and earth dog and all those things, barn hunting, those are instincts. We just take what the dog is good at and we take credit for it. Obedience is teaching the dog to perform things that are not natural. There's only two things that don't make sense to a dog. One is tricks, because we have them do things that make no sense. Why would a dog hold a treat on its nose? Doesn't make any sense. The other one is obedience. This dog is bred to go out, help you poach deer, guard, hunt lions and tigers and bears, oh my, not walk regimented by your side. You're better off to teach everything else and then put in a smattering of obedience. They're going to do it better than if you go to an obedience class and you drum it into their head. One of the least favorite things for any of us is standing in line politely, waiting our turn. When I teach obedience, I don't ever put it together in a pattern until the dog is almost ready to go in the ring. If they know all the pieces, that's easy. Now, I don't overwork my dogs either. If I took this puppy and I said, you can't have any fun, you have to walk. Well, anything you make the dog do he doesn't like, you better not make it too big a deal because he'll end up hating training. He'll drag around, he'll find, he'll find games to play, of course. So you have to make it so that the dog, teach it, so the dog wants to do it. Now one of the best things you can do is not involve the dog in everything. He wants to be involved. See? So if I forced him to be here, and I forced him to walk politely by my side while I picked up the cones, he wouldn't want to. If I walk with the cones, he doesn't know what I'm doing. Hi, you. That's obedience. He's sticking with me. You be easy. So the cone, <laughs> he doesn't know what we're doing. We've used cones in, a many, in many different ways. Hi, you. All right. Now, the other thing I never do is come in and before I come in, make the dog behave. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. The reason it makes sense is because we don't want the dog to feel bad about itself. If you looked at him, you wouldn't say he feels bad about himself. Not in the least. So if you come in and you've started cranking on the dog, okay. So we want the dog to be respectful but still have a good time. In doing this, what have I had to correct? Nothing. Just by tying him and preparing the room, he knows something's going to happen. Right. With me is absolutely your perfect opportunity to kind of warm him up. Rem, with me. The rule is he's never to tighten the lead. Good dog. Good with me. Oh, you forgot. Darn it. Good boy. Wait. Excellent dog. 
for the most part, that's what people need. It's not the obedience. It's a dog that's responsive, that enjoys himself. That's why people train with treats is because they want the dog to look happy. Well, I don't want him happy over a treat. I want him happy to be with me. So you need to make you the reward, not the treat. So if he gets distracted, there's a price to pay. It's just a bump. Now, this dog is being warmed up while I'm talking. But this is exactly how I warm up dogs waiting to work. I don't hold them into me, I don't make them behave, but they are not to tighten the lead and they are not to be over the top silly. Now, we're working on obedience. Now Val's not gonna do competition obedience. She needs a dog that can walk into a business, walk into a restaurant, and behave itself. So that's a different kind of obedience than competition. Competition, you're all worried about positioning. Well, okay. So you can teach the dog to be as sharp as you want to, but if the handler's not working at that level, and most of us don't, you lose it. It's wasted information. Okay. Good. This is far more valuable. Good. This is the perimeter work where if I shorten it, he's not to tighten this lead. Good. Come here. Wait. So when we start doing more obedience, not competition, well, I start the competition dogs this way too. But the dog has to be responsive. It has to do quick sits, quick, I mean, downs and all that. I'm not working on that right now. My focus is good weights, sharp starts, sharp turns, sharp stops. That's it. So we teach what we need and we can add things to it. I'll add the straight sits later. Now a straight sit is very handy if you got your hands full of whatever and the dog's in your way, you can't see where the dog's at. So there is a place for that, but right now is not it. Rem, side, wait, good. He's in perfect position to do a straight sit. Now, there is a little bump if he doesn't stop quick enough. There is a little bump if he doesn't start quick enough. There is a little bump if he doesn't turn. But it's not a major correction. Good weight. Rem, side. Now, side is more serious. Get up here. Get up here. Side more serious than the with me. Good side, get up here. Get up here, wait. Nice, good, side. Get up here, wait. He's in perfect straight position every time he stops. Because you're moving a little faster, he's moving a little closer. Hey, Remy, are you cute? Uh, no, not necessarily. Good boy, good set. All right, now this is Remy prepared for his more formal education. Is he finished? No, but he's learning. And who couldn't start with a dog like that and just eat it up? It's very pretty. You want to avoid any physical manipulation of any kind. You want the dog 
to figure out how to do it himself. Come here, honey. Use the words he needs. Wait. Thank you. Hey, you little nut. Come on. Hi. Now, if the only time we train, we're in training mode. How does this dog connect that with everyday life? You're not walking around with a short lead. You need those dogs to listen to you out in the field. You need the same thing. Good boy. Wait. Oh, darn. Good wait. Hey, you wait. Now, this is kicking it up a notch. Wait. I said wait. Yeah, it's tangled. I said wait. We're not going to stop the training because he's tangled. No way. Now, this is one of the biggest statements you can make to the dog. Good wait. The dog doesn't have to go to the mailbox with you every day. Wait. The dog can go part way and wait. And you know what? That's more important. Absolutely more important. Now, yeah, wasn't that stupid? I thought so. Good boy. He's just learning. Wait. Now, I need to be able to walk over to the neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Hey, how's it going? You wait. Now, he's done. Wait. Good. Wait. He's done this tide here. This is shock. First time. Now, his testing was his way of asking a question. No problem. You can do this. Come on, babe. Good wait. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Wait. Oh, darn. You wait. No fight that time. It takes three successful repetitions. I'm not holding it tight. That's his choice. I have this connected. It's a guide. So if he decides to go sideways, I can stop that too. But I'm not going to prevent him. If you prevent him, it becomes your responsibility, not his. Good. Remy, come on. Come on. Wait. Wait. Very nice. Wait. Wait. You wait. Rem, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Hey. Good. Wait. Out in the field. Wait. Walk up and catch him. This is just as good as a recall. A dog that's guarding will not come to you by choice. A dog that's hunting will not, but they can do a woe or a wait. Good wait. Good wait. Hi. Ram, come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Yeah, I know, you're backwards. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Good. He's trying to learn. Are you trying to learn? I thought so. All right, now he knows. Oh, I need to do it one more time. It's got to be three times. Easy. Good. Wait. I know you're very cute. And he did blow that, and I petted him for it, and that was bad. But it's not a habit yet. So I'll reinforce the weights. You got to be that quick with it so that you're not changing things. Come on, babe. Come on. 
wait. <laughs> so you say, your timing should be that you say the command just before he hits the end of the line. My, cor my command would have saved him from a correction. Oh well. <laughs> it's pressure. Easy. Good. Hi. Easy. Good boy. Remy, sit. Sit. Good sit. Because I said so, not because I'm helping him. No, he knows what it means. Good sit. Good wait. Are you cute? No. You mean I gotta wait and sit too? Yes, you do. Good. Come on. Remy, sit. Sit. Yes, I mean you. Thank you. I'm not fighting with him. Your dogs will appreciate that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Good boy. That was excellent. You wait. Hey, you wait. Now, the beauty of this is, if you call a dog out of weight too much, you get a dog that's anticipating coming out of the weight. This allows you to reinforce, if you call them out too much, they blow the weights. This allows you to reinforce both. Good weight. Now we teach the sits and the downs before we ever do this, because this is where you start to really use it. Ram, come on. Come on. Down. 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 Never had to do this before. I mean, he's done. Down. 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 Oh, what an excellent down dog. Good down. Not a fight. Not correction. It's basically encouragement is what it is. Good boy. Good down. Easy. Remy, come on. Down. Down. Rem, down. 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 Very nice job. That, by the way, was a drop on recall. So if your dog understands that you've got this kind of control at a distance, what else you got to prove? Go down. Remy, come on. Down. Down. Now the answer is always the same. Down. He's got to make up his mind that that's the only option. Down. 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 There's the Airedale compliance. Good down. Now, we have five values we can operate from. Food, fun, attention, comfort, safety. Pack leader takes advantage of all of them. Oh my gosh. Well, use your dumb nose. Good down. Oh, you mean there might be something fun involved in this? Now that serves two purposes. First of all, if the dog truly is stressed, he won't eat. That tells you you're pushing too much. 
He's not pushing too much. He just didn't want to do it. I don't blame him. This is putting an employee down. Oh, well. I'm not going to be mean about it, but you are going down. Go down, Ram. Huh. Now, let's see. That wasn't all that bad, was it, Remy? <laughs> you funny boy. Remy, come on. Come on. Come on. Easy. Remy, down. Really? Okay. Not a problem. Down. Down. This is a terrier looking for his advantage. Down. 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 Now, this same tenacity that we call stubborn is the same tenacity that he would stick with a job that he liked until it was done. Down. 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 That's why people can't train terriers, right there. Down. Thank you. What an excellent idea. The pressure comes off. He just doesn't like to be told what to do. This is the king of terriers. And you're lowering me to the floor below everybody in here? Yes, I am, buddy. Now, it's important that you don't stop at this. He's just about ready to start doing it, and he'll make it his decision, not mine. But he'll start to voluntarily go down because he doesn't want me to tell him what to do. <laughs> now, you have a dog that's a herding dog bred to be compliant. Your dog naturally goes down. This is the other side of the coin. Good. Come on, Ram. Come on. Down. Down. Hey. Down. 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 If you think you're getting a treat every time, you're nuts. Down. Only good dogs. Down. Now, make me. Make me. Really? Thank you. You have to know when to back off. You have to, add, you have to finish with success. But you have to know when to back away. What a good boy. And he has to feel like you're still on his side. Good. I know. You're trying, aren't you? You can't help it, you a silly Airedale puppy. No. Come on, baby boy. Easy. Good. Now, you got to remember, he's had a really fun childhood. And all of a sudden now, what? You can't blame him. Easy. Wait. Oh, 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 good, wait. We end it with something he's doing. I could tell him D-O-W-N or S-I-T, but why? You are such an excellent dog. What a good boy. Him now, he'll have a different level of response. Wait, hey. Not necessarily need to be next to me to wait. Now, he'll stop where I say. Now, I'm not going to push this because we've just had a really good session. If he blows it, I have to go back and then redo it. I'm not going to do that. Good wait. Very nice job. Are you cute or what? You are? All right. He's still a young guy. 
Oh my gosh, college is tough, isn't it? From here. Wait. Hey, I said wait. Thank you. Other than that, Remy's just sitting around growing hair.